Our team is the elite of the elite. We're the heart and soul of this very beach. We protect when other people don't want to protect. And we go above and beyond. Have you ever, ever saved someone or something yourself in real life? Your director saved a six-year-old kid in Africa and he brought her to the hospital. Mm, I, can beat, that. I cannot beat that. Wow. <laughs> I, I think I've never saved anyone from drowning or, you know, in that way. But I think this is a little deep, but I think that we all sort of have, we all want to help people. Mm -hmm. And I think there's little things you can do to help people and it sort of saves them in, in small ways. Like, I think there's small things that you can do that can change other people's lives um, that um, can, can be just as, as important as sort of, you know, saving someone from drowning. Good. Zach? Um, yeah, I, I helped, uh, I helped my friend dodge a rattlesnake on the trail once. I like, put, yo, look out! And, um, and then... You're very brave. One, one time my friend was skateboarding with me and he like fell real hard and he was messed up and I, and I got him in a cab. We got him there just in time or he would have been really screwed up. And he's okay. So, what's Probably up? Probably had to be saved a couple times, I guess. Uh, no, and that, no rattlesnake dodging or... Uh, we have a couple saves in the movie. Does that count? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, Did you a dog or anything? Zach. No. Is a girl. <laughs> is a girl more attractive with abs or without? And girls, is a guy more attractive with abs or without? I think it's that's a well, weird question because it's more about the person overall. I think that like abs have very little to do with the equation of who and what makes a person beautiful. Girls, what do you think about that? I'm a penis girl, so I... <laughs> there it is. Doesn't That's really matter, abs or preach. no abs. You could be French, my friend. <laughs> I like Merci that. beaucoup, merci Bravo. beaucoup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you more, more like an ass kind of girl? Uh, not an ass. <laughs> Stomach. It's like, so they like to have a good time. So they're not scared to have a cheeseburger in order to dessert, which I like those things. So okay, I'm, I'm, like to I'm be in good company when I do that. I'm coming back to you. I love your answer. You said years ago that as a teenage girl you could not get arrested. You could not get the guys. Is it better now? Is it easier now? Or you it's, get too much attraction? It's it's better now. I think you know. I think it was partially. I went to an all girls school and I was really nerdy. So when I was around men, I wouldn't speak. So I don't know why a man would like me if I was just sort of nerdily standing there not talking. So it's a little bit better now. But yeah, I'm very shy and um, and it's 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 hard. But it's it's not as hard as it was when I was younger. Zach, what are you looking for in a girl? You say the abs don't matter. So what does she have to look like? Um. I, I don't know. There's no real parameters on that. There's nothing really that has to has to look a certain way for me to like them. But um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's start <laughs> with the the bathing suit for for all of you. The the swimsuit or whatever. The director said, you know, he was scared eating just by looking at you shooting the movie. <laughs> uh, how was that for you? Uh, I mean, we had great trainers helping us, so there was I was cheating a little bit in that sense. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we ate pretty clean, but I, I found that I had to eat more. I was eating more protein and just, in general, had a bigger appetite because we were working out so much. But, you know, it's, it's, we knew we were making Baywatch, so we weren't going down to the lo local Ben and & Jerry's and <laughs> having ice cream. There was no local Ben & There wasn't. It was like, mostly because there wasn't one. Because um, yeah. <laughs> if there was one, I would have gone. Yeah. I asked you that last year, Zach, like, you know, working out, getting ready, did you compare yourself to Dwayne the first day on set or just avoid him? Oh, what, can I compare myself compare to? Compare the body to Dwayne Johnson's body. Oh, no, there's no point. You shake yeah. his hand, it's like it wraps around it, my hand twice. <laughs> He's like touches his own thumb. Um, <laughs> did he give you advice at least? I mean, you sh he gave you advice for the training and stuff like that, right? No, because we, I think we, our training philosophies are a bit different. He's, uh, he's, his whole physiology is, is probably one of a kind, like one of the most unique in the world, probably one of the coolest in the world. And uh, I'm a much different uh, size person, so I like guys like Bruce Lee. Ah. It's like smaller, faster. Quickly.
Do you just uh, look at my boobs? I was not my intention. I didn't. Uh... You look at them right now. Now I did. Because you were talking about them. Testing. Oh, failed. Oh my god. Cool. All right. You just looked at them again. No, I didn't. What's the best dick joke you heard in a movie, or the one that <laughs> you wish was in the movie? Oh god. <laughs> Uh, there's a there's a lot in the bloopers actually. You have to stay after the credit because we have uh, really those... good bloopers in the film. My... Um, where we drop a couple of them. My favorite scene in the movie when I read the script that I was so excited for was the dick in the chair scene, <laughs> and I just love Kelly with her like beautiful boobs pressed up right against John, and and <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna help the swelling go down, like we'll get you out of this chair, and it's just it's just hysterical. That was really funny. The scene that scene turned out even better than than in my imagination. Come at you. You heard it. Love you guys. Woo!